Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to debug a Jenkins error. Friends, let me tell you, this is an ad hoc session. I was getting this error, so I thought I'll debug with you. So in this session, we'll debug uh, the Jenkins error. If you are not able to start the Jenkins service on Windows machine, and you're getting this error, Jenkins service on local computer started and then stopped. Then how to debug this error? Uh, friends, this the root cause of the error might be different for me and you, but I'm just telling you the way to debug this. So what I did is I initially uh, launched Chrome and tried to uh, launch Jenkins, but I could not. Then, since I got this error here, uh, I try I went to service I type services dot msc uh, in windows machine and you'll see this uh, all the services over here and then here you can simply type j which will uh, take you to the jenkins service okay now you can see the status is not running so let's try to start it See, I'm getting this error. So Jenkins service has some problem and because of this, it is not able to start. Now how to debug this error? Let's get to the properties of uh, this service. So it will tell you where this uh, exe file is stored. So access this location on your computer. Okay, here is your Jenkins exe and these are your logs so let's delete this file first uh, the dot output file I have deleted so that when I try to restart this Jenkins now I'll get a fresh file okay I'm not able to get anything. This is the XML file. Okay, let's try to run this file from command prompt open command prompt in this directory and say Jenkins okay it's not allowing me to and there are no logs over here Friends, you can see this Jenkins dot wrapper file is modified. Uh, this is the latest uh, date. So I think there must be some error over here. Let's go and check. Uh, I don't see any obvious error here. But what I can check is uh, it is accessing this Java and let's check if this path exists on your computer or not oh it's not there if you go inside java folder you can see the Java 16 is installed and Java 8 is missing from uh, this computer. So if you try to install Java 8 now, it should work. Again, I'm telling the root cause of this issue might be different for you, but I'm telling you the way how to debug this. So let's wait. I'll uh, install Java 8 my, on my computer. Make sure you're using authentic website to download Java. 
here it is keep everything as default and let it inst get installed Okay, now let's go back to the folder, but I don't see Java 8 over here. Okay, it's installed over here. Because this is okay. Now let's try to start the service. I think this will still not find the path, but let's try. Yes, it is still not able to do that. And you can see it is finding Java at wrong place. Now let's find out where this path is configured in Jenkins folder. Go to program files, Jenkins. Let's find out where this path is configured. Open this uh, Jenkins.xml and you can see here the Java path is configured. Okay, so now let's go to the new installation, which is in program files x86 folder. Here I have Java 8. Okay, and let's put this path in the XML. Okay, let's check if there are any other references of Java. No, there are not. So we are good. Let's try to start Jenkins now. It's still not started. Let's go to Jenkins folder. Open this file Jenkins dot wrapper. Okay. Friends, looks like uh, it's not able to find the uh, uh, Java yet. So let's open. Uh, Jenkins XML and let's try to find if we have added a correct path okay the path is correct but Java is not stored at this location Java is inside bin so the path should be corrected over here like we need to put the bean folder over here now we have saved the XML file and let's try to run Jenkins now. Yes, the Jenkins is started. Let's open Chrome and local host. The UI is not showing up yet. Eight zero eight zero port is eight zero eight zero, I guess.
yes your Jenkins is getting ready that means the issue is solved alright friends that's it for this video and if this video help you uh, and uh, you are able to solve your problem or you got the hints please subscribe to this channel because that will help us uh, make some more such videos for you and it will help us grow on YouTube like this video and let me know your thoughts in comment section thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye